You see that there? Democratic National Convention Committee. You're looking at in Fesco pre-convention pass. That's right. This is your ticket to behind the scenes. And who's going to bring it to you? Sea Swan. Hey yo, what up? It's C. Swan, the Mile High New Yorker, coming at you once again from the Mile High City, Denver, Colorado, where the Democratic National Convention is taking place. As you all know already, I will be in the House at Invesco Field on Thursday when Barack Obama accepts the nomination for the Democratic Party to be the President of the United States of America. And uh, today, a little special treat for you. Today I got to go down to Invesco, scope out the joint, take, take care of some uh, preliminary work, and uh, I decided to take you guys along with me. How do you like that? Let's go check it out. Alright, here we have some iron horses, look like Broncos. We must be at Invesco Field at Mile High, home of the Denver Broncos. Let's go take a look inside. Right now we're inside a production truck. 10 million dollar HD high definition production truck lots of equipment here we got patch panels we got uh, frame synchronizers time code generators a rasterizer we got all kinds of equipment in here right here we have the camera control area those are the monitors where you can see each camera and down here are the controls that shade and correct the color on the cameras here's the playback room where the recordings are made of programs and they can do replays and slow-mos and stuff like that. Here's the control room. The TD will sit over there to the right by the switcher. And uh, he'll be pressing the buttons while the director over here will be calling the shots. But of course he answers to the producer who will usually be back here. As well as the client who might also be in this area. Now leaving the production truck, we're going to step outside. We are inside, I might add, that the production trucks are parked indoors. Right now we're taking a trip that the Denver Broncos take every Sunday or when they're at home out onto the field. Very few people get this experience. It was quite exciting for me as it was my first time in Invesco period. And I'm walking out on the field like I'm all at. And I get the view that the players themselves get. Now we're looking at the uh, CNN's platform here, and uh, another platform, where uh, different news organizations, they have these platforms that allow them to have a desk and an anchor in front of a camera with the, uh, the action right over their shoulder. CNN, NBC, all the big networks have them. So let's take a walk across the field. That's right, I'm walking on the grass that the Denver Broncos play on. And I'm walking over to this other area where other news organizations, smaller news organizations and uh, local stations and smaller uh, networks might set up their equipment. They'll have a camera, maybe even an anchor person standing. And here we have a mixing booth doing a little sound check. And as we peek across the field, we get our first glimpse of the stage. Let's take a walk over here. Don't worry about this rope. We're just going to step over that. You don't got to worry about that because you're with C. Swan. We're going over to the 50 yard line, and that's right. We are standing on the 50 yard line. And let's go feel a mile high. Start to look up, and there it is the stage, the place where Thursday's activities will take place. Let's take a closer look. You see a state, uh, screen on the left side. It's got a very uh, Roman type architecture and another screen on the right side. Let's get even closer. Right now we're walking up the ramp to the stage. This is the actual stage that Barack Obama will be standing on when he accepts the Democratic Party's nomination. This is the view he will have as he gives his speech. Let's take a look at the, uh, the set again. You see the Roman or Greek architecture. I'm not really sure can't quite tell the difference, but uh, it's definitely very regal looking with the big screens. And then out 
onto Invesco Field. 75,000 people will be here that night to see Barack Obama. It's going to be quite a night. Hey, yo, Barack, I told you I was going to see you in Denver. Would you think I was kidding? And this is C. Swan. Call me.